So what I would have you do is do the same exercise, but once he starts laying down consistently within about 15 seconds, then after he does that, after he lays down, we're gonna wait about 10 seconds before we give him permission to get the treat. Then the next time you're gonna do it, 20 seconds, and then 40, and get to about a minute. Once we get to a minute, I usually go by one minute increments, and we go all the way to 15 minutes. Now, 15 minutes is a long time to sit around waiting for your dog to not get a treat. But if you put it up between you and the TV, you can sit down on the couch and watch TV while you're making your dog wait for the treat, and the dog's mind is blown, because usually when that stupid thing is on, I can do whatever I want, my human's not paying any attention to me. But because it's between you and the dog, uh, TV, you're looking right at the dog. Mm -hmm. So you make the hissing sound if he tries to go, and you stand up if you have to. Um, now, the rules for this, let's say he's laying down, you're at 14 minutes. He lays down for five minutes, gets up, and then walks around and shows avoidance. So he doesn't try to get it, and he goes lays in his dog bed. We keep the timer going. But the only time we stop the timer is if he turns and tries to go for it, mm. and we have to correct, then the timer goes back to zero, and we start again. Okay. So the idea is we want him to do it for so long that he almost like closes his eyes to look, you know, and takes a, a nap and wakes up and still recognizes he can't go get it because he hasn't gotten permission to get it. Um, so this is an exercise that'll take uh, a little bit of time, but it works better if you do it consecutive days in a row. If you start skipping days, it, it doesn't work as well. So since you guys kind of share him, I would I would set it up where you guys do it maybe a two week period of time, and then you know you kind of kind of do it independently. Normally I would have everybody doing it at the same time, uh, but what I would have you do is you get up to 15 minutes in the week that he's here. Then when Tyler really gets him, Tyler gets it, or whoever does it first is going to have a uh, second is going to have a lot easier because he's going to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But you still want to have go through that 15 minute period so that he is understanding. I can't go get it until I get permission. Um, and and uh, make sure that you only move him backwards when he's looking at you, and uh, and that uh, and eventually you don't have to get up like we like I was showing you here. So at first we were crouching down, then we were just kind of crouching to the side. Eventually you're just going to kind of say booty and from while you're sitting on the couch and he goes and gets it when he hears the word booty. Do not ever sit down unless he is at least sitting down first. So if, if he's still standing and you sit down, you're kind of putting yourself in a less authoritative position. Yeah, that, haven't we talked about it? That's not going to get treats for me. Good boy. All right, so that's uh, the structure.